The metabolism is the sum of all the movements, actions, and changes that your body does to convert food and nutrients into energy in order to survive. In short, it is an energy conversion system. Food and nutrients, such as vitamins, minerals, and water, are sources of energy, like gas you put into a car. The metabolism, similar to an engine, converts these energy sources into energy to breathe, move, protect, grow, and survive. Just like with gasoline, there are different qualities of food, each providing a different level of potential energy for your body. Non-starchy, natural carbohydrates like broccoli, asparagus, kale, etc. provide energy for a short amount of time, or about 3-4 to four hours. These are also very clean foods that are full of nutrients and thus very good for your body. Starches such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, peas, etc., provide energy for a short period of time and also have many good nutrients. However, starches are also, by definition, simple sugars, which quickly turn into glucose or blood sugar. If consumed in excess, you will gain weight as any excess glucose in the body will be converted into stored energy, also known as fat. Refined carbohydrates such as sugar, bread, pasta, etc., provide a very short-term amount of energy, or about 2-3 to three hours worth. Due to the amount of processing that refined carbohydrates go through, they are absorbed very quickly and require very little work by the digestive system, thus turning them into glucose at a very fast rate. Excess glucose along with the excess insulin that these foods create is the primary cause of weight and obesity problems. Refined carbohydrates are also deprived of nutrients, which is what some may refer to as empty calories. The industrial processing that these foods go through strip them of the majority of their vitamins and minerals, practically making them an unfood. As if this wasn't enough, many also contain dyes and preservatives, which further decrease the metabolism. Proteins such as beef, chicken, cheese, eggs, etc. are high-potency foods that take a lot more time to digest and thus provide energy that lasts for nearly 4-6 to six hours. This is why you may not find yourself hungry enough to eat an early dinner if you had a lunch high in protein. Fats are foods that also provide a lot of energy, as well as a sense of feeling full and satisfied. The length of energy they provide is similar to that of proteins, about 4-6 to six hours. Fats cause your body to produce the CCK hormone. This hormone basically sends a message to the brain saying, I'm full and not hungry anymore. To increase your metabolism, your diet should contain fats and oils. The best fats and oils for slimming down would include fish oil, olive oil, and organic coconut oil. As an important note, when you consume saturated fats like those contained in pork meat, you should avoid combining them with a large amount of refined carbohydrates. Once again, refined carbohydrates cause your body to produce a large amount of insulin, which in turn will convert both the refined carbohydrates and fats into additional stored fat. Instead, try to combine fats or protein with natural, non-starchy carbohydrates, like broccoli or salad. Fiber is also highly recommended. Should you have a choice between white or whole wheat bread, your best bet will be to go with the whole wheat bread instead. Basically, the whiter the bread, the less fiber it will contain. In short, each type of food contributes to the metabolism in a different way. No food should be forbidden from your diet. Instead, try to consume more of those foods that will help speed up the metabolism and less of those that slow it down. To learn more about other factors that affect the metabolism, read the book The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez, available at www.thepowerofyourmetabolism.com.